here for Mr. Lamar Marshall, a Hammond City Councilman. Uh, as uh, Mr. Prevetto talked about uh, striving for what's best for our children, we want excellence for our children. And uh, I'd like to ask you, how can local elected officials be involved in promoting educational excellence uh, in the classroom and in our local Question. Uh, well, I want a couple of minutes now, and I'll just read those to you. I believe we have an active, we have to take an active role in ensuring that our schools and our students who attend our schools uh, are excellent. The school's leadership is responsible for ensuring that the environment in our school is conducive to learning at a high level. And then I think our role as elected officials uh, is to support the effort of our schools by ensuring that we're doing our part to provide a, an environment where in our community where our children can live and play where they are able to uh, when they're away from school. Uh, there's a statistic out there, that say, uh, according to the statistics of, uh, from the CAL, which is the Louisiana Center for Rapid School Learning, students spend at least 80% of their time uh, away from school. Uh, their waking hours away from school. So parents have to ensure that our children are getting an educational enrichment program necessary to continue their academic and overall growth. Um, and that is the role of the parent. You know, we're not trying, I'm not saying that we should advocate that the parents are responsible for their children when they're away from school, but when you imagine that over 80% of the child's uh, uh, waking hours are spent away from a formal environment, uh, that puts a lot of responsibility on our parents and those parents that are able to do that and it works. Uh, and, and that's uh, the way it should be. But unfortunately, there are many kids who are deprived of this opportunity, uh, and it creates a gap in their readiness level uh, that ultimately impacts their ability to stay at a level where, with their counterparts that have those resources available to them. So we obviously see this gap widening at a very critical time in most kids' lives when they're in that junior high, uh, junior high, seventh grade, eighth grade, and ninth grade level. Uh, and like I said, the, whack, the, the gap widens as they get older. And as elected officials, and especially those who are concerned about the city of Hammond, uh, I think we must advocate on behalf of these children uh, and work to bridge this gap throughout the other school, through different other school initiatives. And I've been working on uh, with the Louisiana for after school learning uh, as we learn how these initiatives can be put into uh, cities the size of Hammond. And the reason why, there are three main reasons why, and I'll end on that. Uh, I think that having an excellent education system uh, uh, is, going, is going to increase the educational level of the community. Uh, and, uh, and, and, and as a city uh, obviously has a, a greater educational system or a smaller community, uh, that will drive economic development. Uh, I think secondly, a smaller community will translate into less poverty and a larger middle class. I think that's so important in a city the size of Hammond that has 33% poverty. That's something that we really have to understand the dynamics of how education will impact uh, our ability to, to reduce or, in some cases, eliminate poverty in our city. And then I think the smaller community will require higher standards for the people that live in that community, uh, thus a quality of life improvement for everyone. So those, are my, those will be the three main things I think as, as elected officials we can focus on in our city to ensure that we have a higher standard of quality of education to ultimately grow uh, uh, economic development. Thank you.